The Solar System Have you ever stood outside and looked into the sky? Do you want to know what is out there? Out there in space? Let's start with the planets. There are eight planets and they are all very different. The smallest planet in our solar system and the one that is closest to the sun is Mercury. Mercury is hot since it is close to the sun, but it is not the hottest. It is the fastest planet too. Venus is the second planet and it is our neighbor planet because it is the closest to Earth. Sometimes people call Venus Earth's twin because it is so much like Earth in size, but Venus has yellow clouds that are like poison to us. Venus is the hottest planet and can melt lots of things. Earth, our home planet, is the third planet from the sun and the only place we know so far that has living things on it. Earth is the only world in our solar system with liquid water on the surface. The Earth spins around making the sun rise and set to make one day. Mars is a dusty, cold desert world that is often called the red planet. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun. Mars is a small planet that used to have active volcanoes on it, but not anymore. Jupiter is the biggest of all the planets. Jupiter's stripes and swirls are cold and windy clouds. Its big red spot is actually a giant storm that is bigger than Earth. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. Saturn is made up of gas and is called a gas giant. Saturn has more than 53 moons and seven beautiful rings. Uranus is the second planet to have rings on it. Uranus has 13 rings and looks like it spins on its side. It takes 84 Earth years to go around the sun or orbit around the sun one time. Uranus is called an ice giant. Dark, cold with supersonic winds, Neptune is an ice giant. It is the eighth planet and the planet that is farthest away from the sun. Neptune has rings, but they are very hard to see. Dwarf planets are like planets, but there are space rocks and other things in their way of orbit. There are five dwarf planets right now. Pluto is very small and was named by a kid who was 11 years old. Almost all the planets travel around the sun in a nearly perfect circle, but not Pluto. It takes an oval shaped path with the sun nowhere near the center. Ceres is a super tiny dwarf planet. Scientists would like to search for possible signs of life on Ceres. It has something many other planets don't. Water. Makemake is so far away that we don't know much about it. We do know that it has one moon. When Humea was discovered, it was given the nickname Santa. The shape of this dwarf planet is more like a football than a soccer ball because of how fast it spins. Humea spins so fast that each day is only six hours long. That means for each Earth day, there are six days on Humea. Aries is one of the biggest of the dwarf planets, but is still very small and very, very cold. It is close in size to Pluto. Aries's day is just a couple hours longer than an Earth day, but one year is 557 Earth years. This is what our planets would all look like if they were in a line. Look at the size of the different planets. This is our solar system. The sun is in the middle of our solar system with the planets circling or orbiting around it. Stars and moons. The sun is a star. There are lots of stars in the universe, but the sun is the closest one to Earth and it's the only one in our solar system. The sun is a hot ball of glowing gases. It keeps our planet warm enough for living things to grow. 
there are at least 100 billion stars. Our solar system and all these stars and more planets and moons are part of a galaxy called the Milky Way. This is our moon. Moons circle around a planet. Our solar system has more than 200 moons in it. This is what our moon looks like. It's a bunch of cold rocks and dirt. The moon helps our planet's weather and creates ocean tides. The moon reflects the light of the sun. Jupiter has the most moons. There are four big ones and about 90 other ones. Jupiter even has a moon that has lots and lots of volcanoes on it. Now that you know about our solar system, you can just imagine how many more planets are out there in space. You've been watching Kiddos Creative, so don't forget to like and subscribe.